Johnson Dairy has experienced some challenges in the past and we're here in spite of all that. We have a deep appreciation for, you know, what we have, who we are, how we got here. We've all worked very hard to get here. We produce a half a million pounds of milk a day over that. We feed the world. My hope is Rod goes through his career and the grandkids come along that they can tell the story that they're part of a legacy that not only helped feed the world, but that it helped take care of the environment. I'm tickled pink and I'm proud of the opportunity that the good Lord gives me to do that every day. Our core business is always going to be milking cows. Uh, that, that's kind of deep in our roots and goes back, uh, well, I'm third generation, so I hope that my kids have the opportunity to milk cows as well. Our land and water resources are going to be critical in the state of Colorado and for most dairies. It's our responsibility to use our resources effectively and efficiently and be good stewards of the land. To be sustainable for 20, 30 more years down the road, we need to look at new technologies and progress and, and look at new ways on how to manage those resources. This project does a lot of things for Johnson Dairy. It brings the most current from climate change discussion to green energy discussion. It brings that to the forefront and we're a part of that. We reuse everything possible that we can, but this has really changed the game and it's changed how we're able to manage that manure that's coming from our cows. So to be able to, to tell our neighbors that we're not only contributing milk into our community, that we are creating a fuel source, a much needed and economical source of energy, I think that's the number one key.